the most dangerous toilet in the world. It's also quite difficult to reach. A long flight and countless hours by car are just the beginning of an adventurous search for clues. We are in Chiyongur in southern Russia, near the border region with Kazakhstan, China and Mongolia. The village of Chiyongur lies at the foot of the Altai Mountains. We rely on a tour guide recommended to us by locals. Achwa grew up here and knows the area like the palm of his hand. Is the ascent to the toilet dangerous? The Altai Mountains are no laughing matter. They can be dangerous. There are rocks and cliffs everywhere, so you shouldn't drop your guard. Since we're total amateurs, he suggests we hike on a horseback instead of on foot. We took extra riding lessons for our objective, the most dangerous toilet in the world. He's had enough. This way we'll never arrive. The professional has to intervene. The 19-year-old regularly guides tourists through the Altai Mountains. But tours to the most dangerous toilet aren't the most common. Three horses belong to Ajwa and they are his everything. The 19-year-old has been riding since as long as he can remember. As expected, he knows how to handle them, unlike our reporter Nico. I'm really scared. Things gradually get uncomfortable on the steep path. Bad memories are awakened, because this is our second attempt to visit the most dangerous toilet. On our first, we had much bigger problems than a stubborn horse. Five months ago, the same place, just not the same weather. On the contrary, Little did we know what kind of challenge travelling to the world's most dangerous toilet represented. We're set to meet with mountain guide Maxime and ask around in the shop. Have you heard of the toilet? Yes, I've been there. Is it well known? Obviously. Why? Because it's up in the mountains in a remote location. We are on our way. In the very first hour of the ascent, temperatures drop to a freezing minus 7.6 degrees Fahrenheit. How many times have you brought tourists? Around 15 times, I don't keep track. Maxime seems to know a shortcut and checks if the ice of the frozen river is thick enough to cross. We rely on our tour guide and follow him through the deep snow. Sorry, but no one's ever tried harder to get a toilet selfie. I'm perfectly sure of that. The Altai Republic is sparsely populated. We started in Chiyongur. On our tour, we'll have to travel around 12 miles and an altitude difference of 5,570 feet to make it the most dangerous toilet in the world on the top of Kara Turek. But the ascent becomes mission ascension. What looks like a nice walk on the snow is a real ordeal at temperatures of now minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. We have just finished three miles. It'll be dark in an hour. Our situation up here is becoming increasingly worrying. It's fine. You can do it. We'll save a lot of time if we take this route. What's so good about it? I'll fall down. Come on, I'll help you. I'll take your backpack. You don't understand. My shoes are size 13s and I weigh almost 220 pounds. Every step is hell. I slip with every step. Don't panic, stay calm. Meanwhile, we have strong doubts about Maxime's abilities as a mountain guide. Has he underestimated the situation? Cinematographer Yuri can barely walk. He can't feel his toes anymore. The camera batteries have stopped working in the icy temperatures. We can only film with our phones. I can't stand this anymore. We'll never do this. 
but it was too late to turn back. To the night we wandered through the snow. As if by some miracle, we eventually found a wooden hut. A goat herd gave us shelter and some hot tea. Our cameraman Yuri had severe frostbite on his toe. After we'd been able to warm up overnight, the relief was great the next morning because Yuri was doing better despite the pain. He is our lifesaver, Arkan. He took us in and fed us last night. Without him, we wouldn't have survived out here. I was in bed when I suddenly heard screaming in the night. I looked out of the window and saw them in the blizzard. We interrupt our visit to the toilet and take cameraman Yuri to the hospital with his injured foot. Back in summer and our second attempt to reach the toilet. At least the weather conditions are much better this time. So, back there is the hut that saved our lives last time. Lucky that they managed to find it, because there's less than one inhabitant per square mile in this region. People, let alone tourists, seldom get lost here, and they certainly don't do so on the way to visit a toilet. Have we survived the worst, or is there still much more ahead of us? We've passed the worst already. Three quarters of the way to the bathroom is behind us. No comparison to the horror trip we went through in January. Today it's 60.8 degrees Fahrenheit and thus 50 degrees warmer than at that time. Nevertheless, there's always something worth complaining about. It's incredibly far. In the meantime, my butt hurts a lot as well. There are no more trees at 7,800 feet above sea level. Cameraman Yuri is also glad the toilet is already inside. We're almost there. I can already see the mountain top. At last. And look how far we've come. We've reached the destination of our exciting journey. Despite serious research, we never thought this ascent would be such a challenge for our team. The highest weather station in Russia is located on the summit. The notorious toilet at 8,500 feet above sea level is, as a matter of fact, the outhouse of this lonely station. We meet the person who uses this toilet, meteorologist Dima. Do tourists come here too? Yeah, that happens. They usually only come to shoot photos. <laughs> So there's a toilet, but where does Dima buy his toilet paper? Once a year, a helicopter lands with food and other supplies for the meteorologists. Dima has been working here for five years. Weather stations like these are always in remote locations to compare the extreme readings with those of normal weather stations. In addition, it also serves as an important hub for air traffic, providing data to different flights. I've heard it can be really dangerous when there's too much wind and you want to go to the bathroom. Yeah, sometimes strong winds prevail here, especially in winter, the wind is crazy. And you still go, or do you wait it out? If you've got to go, you've got to go. <laughs> How did you come up with the idea of building a toilet on a cliff? There are rocks everywhere here, so you can't just dig a hole. And so they built the toilet over the edge. Actually, Dima works here with two colleagues, but they're currently on their week-long annual leave, visiting their families in the valley. Before going to the most dangerous toilet in the world, reporter Nico is a bit scared. Only a few boulders serve as a counterweight. Not exactly reassuring. 
Nevertheless, the quiet location with its breathtaking view seems to be very stable, since the toilet has been here around since 1939. It can't be worse than the ascent. <laughs> this thing is so askew. Anyways, you guys have to go out now. Well then, good luck. Meanwhile, we enjoy the breathtaking view. So, after all the effort here, I've really earned my selfie with the infamous toilet. For reporters' needs, this toilet will do. The title, Most Dangerous Toilet in the World, is completely justified, because the journey to this place was probably the riskiest walk to a toilet we have ever witnessed. <laughs> 